Hey everybody, it's Dom Tomcat Cunningham at the Cat Shack of Parts. We are on the road again. We're hitting another event today. Uh, Barry Soldier Gear and Barry. And it uh, should be a really good time. If you guys want us to check out your event, uh, drop us a line, catshackreports at gmail.com. Maybe we could be at your event next. Peace. Hey everybody, it's Tom, Tomcat Cunningham with the Cat Shack Reports. We are on location here in Barrie, Ontario at Soldier Gear. Now, I think maybe some of you may recognize this lady standing here beside me. Uh, and her name is... Patty Young, hello! Patty Young, I think this lady right here wears a lot of different hats. We're just going to do a quick interview and discuss a few of them. So Patty, to start with, uh, I, I, I guess the first hat that we should talk about, you are manager of Soldier Gear. I am the manager of the Soldier Gear Paintball Outdoor Field here at Highway 90 um, in Barrie. And as you can see, we've got a pretty good day going on. Uh, we're here for the Diabetes Fundraising Day. So we're trying to help out another company who wants to expose new people to paintball through raising money for diabetes. And uh, having spoken with you, uh, I must say, looking around myself, uh, you're doing a pretty good job of it. Thank you. We're having a great time. Uh, you know, from what I understand, we've got a lot of uh, big community involvement. You've got the, the hockey leagues coming out. Yes. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, let's get the kids out and play some paintball. Awesome. Now, Patty, uh, let's talk about the second hat that you're wearing, and it is uh, Play Like a Girl Sports. Yes. Play Like a Girl Sports is a company that I started to help encourage, promote, um, maybe even help get some girls the sponsorship that they need for the sports that they take part in. Right now, not a lot of people are supporting our female sports, like the women's national team, the WNBA, uh, female rugby. In the States, there's uh, professional women's football. It's actual tackle football. Not a lot of people know about those things, so I'm trying to give those women a chance to put their sport out there for everybody to see. That is awesome. What is the matter with you people? Will you sponsor <laughs> these females, please? What is the matter with them? I don't even know. Well, we're good looking and we play sports, so <laughs> we should get some sponsors out of that, I think. Through that. Now, the third hat that we're wearing, you are the lady that is more or less behind the tee dot. Yes. Tee dot ballers is something I've taken on uh, because my daughter enjoys paintball. Um, my husband was involved from the beginning with Eddie Ng, who is the man that came up with the whole idea of tee dot ballers. Unfortunately, Eddie did pass away um, not too long after he started tee dot ballers. My husband's still involved more in the back end section. I'm the face of TDOT Ballers, so if you want sponsorship and, and Facebook updates, you do that. I'm the person you would contact for that. So let's keep our sponsors happy and let's get more people that play paintball. Excellent. And the TDOT Ballers does just that. Uh, great forum. You guys got to check that out if you haven't already in the URL as well. www.tdotballers.com. Uh, Play Like a Girl is www.playlikeagirlsports.com and then we have Soldier Beard Paintball. The best paintball place in Ontario, www.soldier-gear.ca. Awesome. Nice work, dude, nice work. Good job. Hey everybody, it's Tom, Tomcat Cunningham with the Cat Shack Reports. We are still here at Soldier Gear here in Barrie. With me is Mr. Al Martin, owner? Owner. Owner of Soldier Gear Paintball here in uh, Barrie. Uh, just a quick cu a couple of questions for you, Al, if you don't mind. Sure. I've been out in the field, a very interesting venue. What uh, would be some of the really interesting field features out here? Well, uh, I think most people know Soldier Gear for speedball, so we do have two CXBL uh, level speedball fields. 
Uh, we're focusing a lot now on rec ball, so we've built some amazing uh, little structures. We've got some 16 foot high sniper towers, uh, your typical things like the helicopter and whatnot, but the guys have built a couple of forts, dug out some in-ground trenches, we've got a school bus, tire field, things like that, uh, 30 foot rocket, which you can actually play the fins and actually go inside it and play part of that uh, OS. We've got a bush field. Uh, we're not really famous for bush because it's one bush field, but it's got some cool features, a pond and a boat and things like that back there. So um, we cater more to rec ballers, kids and things like that, as opposed to like big game scenario players, but uh, we're trying to get on the map with that too. Uh, just out of curiosity, how much, uh, what, what, what are we looking at in the way of acreage? It's not a huge field, but it serves the purpose. No, the entire property is 35 acres, so what we have, uh, I think, available to play is around 28 or 29. Um, again, not huge, but the way we divided the fields off and whatnot, it makes it quick and convenient and easy for the kids and whatnot to get to to go play. Uh, we've got a lot of, you know, area available for staging and people can pitch tents and and uh, you know lawn chairs and things like that and chill out so um, there's a lot of the property it's just grass it's designed just to be used for that overflow parking or whatever but as far as fields go yeah there's about 28 or 29 acres awesome uh, now you know what surprises me here and, and mind you I've been to a lot of different venues uh, I was looking at this pricing we, uh, our main focus, and I have two 13 year olds that play paintball, was to make it affordable for kids to come back and play once, twice, three times a month if need be or whatever. We have kids that come back every weekend because they can afford to play here. So, um, you know, we're not out there to really, you know, kind of reap that kind of return that some other fields might. I understand it's their business, it's a hobby for us. Um, but really, to grow the sport, we wanted to make it affordable and have kids play more than once a year. And I understand there's some great fields out there. You pay a little bit, but it's kind of like going on vacation, you know. Go there once. Uh, your average kid or average Joe is not paying that kind of dough to go play every weekend, to my knowledge. So we try to keep the pricing down and uh, make things affordable. About? Well, we do charge 40 for a case of 2000 Drax's paint. I know people think that when you're charging 40 it's some kind of crap Walmart white box or something, but no, it's, it's Draxxus paint. We have our own uh, custom Draxxus field paint with Soldier Gear logos and whatnot on it, so we have BYOP every day because of that. So if you buy our paint, you can bring it back anytime. We don't charge you extra to do that. It's $10 to play. Uh, and it's 15 for all the equipment and we use smart part sp1 you know fully automatic markers and um, yeah we've got good equipment good prices and we try to make it affordable for everybody see that we've got some uh, safe face rental masks in there. safe face rental masks as well uh, we also have jt's uh, we have an indoor field as well in angus so we're swapping gear back and forth between the two fields and uh, oh, that's right. So you've got a, 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 there's a pro shop in Angus. Yeah. And is that right with the indoor, or is that? That's right. Inside the mall that we're housed in, we took You're over. We're, we took over a, the majority of a mall. It used to be a Sobeys in there. We we took over Sobeys, uh, gutted the place, built a great big huge indoor field. It's got about 30 buildings, dual floors, catwalks, bridges, the whole shoot and match. It's really an amazing thing if you haven't seen that. And in that same mall, we have a 3,000 square foot pro shop. So we do, uh, you know, we do a lot of the paintball things, but we have other things in the catered to the military guys as well, some mill sim clothing and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it's a pretty good setup. Okay, very cool. I'm thinking, uh, I, I personally like the idea of going to the mall and playing some paintball. <laughs> <laughs> Al, thanks for giving us a Appreciate it, you guys. Thank you very much. Tom Tomcat Cunningham here with the Cat Shack Reports, www.catshackreports.com. Hey. Hi, I'm Megan from Brockville Cadet Ballers and CXBL. Uh, I like the Cat Shack Reports, www.thecatshackreports.com. Check it.